Glorious Greek pottery, such as the Skyphos, can end up in such a place like South Italy or Great Britain, and we can only thank the world of trade for saving these artifacts. Even though trade has existed for a long time, without a doubt, our trading system would be less defined as it is today without the mothering nation, ancient Greece. For instance, Pottery and artworks from ancient Greece have been discovered in many different regions throughout the world. Homer and Hesiod, two Greek authors, spread the word about the concept of trade around the Mediterranean about 100,700 years ago. Due to these authors' brilliant ideas of economy, science, politics, and ethics, this evolution became the universal turning point in history. Of all, without the building of a system and the slow drive for power, the industry would not be as worldwide as it is today. And it all started with Greece, a beautiful land in the Mediterranean, a region shaped by philosophers and rulers before them, sharing its astonishing beauty for the arts, literature, and legends, which have came a pretty long way. Greece alone comes with a long stretch of history reflecting its influence on modern-day life. For example, during the Renaissance, they took cultural differences in art and science. They used these to create playwrights and poetry. Painters and sculptors studied art from ancient Greece. Philosophers and religious reinformers took old ideas to create new ones, or just to explore the secrets of the natural world. But how does this have to deal with trade? Well, trade is crucial to society. While it wasn't always as large as it is now due to the expanding world of technology and transportation, it is still important, even long ago. Trade has encouraged territorial expansion and boosted population growth. Goods and products were to be exchanged, bought, and gained a profit from, bringing the life of currency into action. The Greeks had an advantage by being in the Mediterranean. This allowed easy trade with neighboring countries. The land was perfect for agriculture, and they were relatively close to the sea, making it easier for traveling cargo. This extended from 750 BC to 650 BC, the Bronze Age. Homer and Hesiod began to push their ideals through literature, which mostly was about Greek religious practices. However, they also expanded on topics such as economic theory, astronomy, concepts, and overall basic values, one of many being the implication of trading. Hesiod and Homer's ideas began to weave its way into society's functions, leaving it large impact. It's implied that Alexander the Great, the former king of Macedonia, found himself so admired by the intelligence of Homer's work that he had his poems stored in the sacred box. While these authors did not create trade, they helped extend it beyond its borders. In quote, he gave thousands of measures of the wine for trading, so the troops could barter for it some with bronze and some with shining iron, others with hides and others still with oxen, some with slaves. They made the copious feast, and all night long Achaeans with flowing hair feasted, while the Trojans and their allies likewise made a feast. Homer the Iliad Things were being sold left and right, from the finest wives in olives to oils. It was a major success for ancient Greece and the empire, they used coins and other goods to exchange. This is very similar to the coin system we have today. One of the things we can cherish is the stories they told, their myths and legends. For example, the Trojan War. The Trojan War is a very well-known myth. This epidemic of war and battle in the story caused a desperate need for more weapons and the demand for necessities such as medicine and armory. Quote, the Trojan War without Homer is nothing more than a battle over trade routes. B. W. Poe Another myth in relation to trade is the competition between Athena and Poseidon. While Poseidon did try to impress the people by his power and gift of water, it didn't give much purpose to the people, giving it was salt water and they could not drink it. Athena, however, gifted the life, one that nobody was expecting, a sapling and it changed everything. While only being something so small, she created life. The olive tree grew, and it provided the city with a source of food and the olive's oils and lumber, beating Poseidon in the race, and named the city Athens. Oils have multiple applications. It was great for the people. Even now, in modern world, we see the importance of oils and how much is extended since then. The more produce they had, the more income. And same goes for now. 
they reached their success, so did another empire among them, the Roman Empire. It was a tough fight, as the Romans were more experienced in military, meanwhile the Greeks were more focused on science and art. That was their downfall. They were not prepared for the fight heading towards them. In a flash, all of their hard-earned glory was swept away under their feet, or perhaps their heel. Although it is speculated that the real reason for their downfall was drought, it is implied that they were not prepared for the battle that awaited them. When the Romans took over, they took their ideas too. For example, the overseer of Hellenism. They changed their names from Greek myths, such as Zeus to Jupiter, Hades to Pluto, etc. They t also took their philosophy, their political system, and ethics. They modified it to a more modern style, including their own perception and morals. Lastly, trade began to flourish to higher extents at the Roman success. Conclusion, without a trading system in place, these ancient societies would have most likely died out faster than documented. Looking into the present, if the Romans did not take these visions, many people would not have the jobs they do now. The population would decrease. The items and good immigrated from other lands would not exist. Artifacts would be hard to discover, and the urge for travel and expansion would have failed. Seen through history, trade has made one of the most important factors of being successful in society, or let alone a nation. We see this within the Roman and Greek empires, the Industrial Revolution, the expansion of the United States of America. It would have not existed without the understanding of economy, trade, and the desire for a better life. We need to cherish our history and protect the items from the past as much as we can, such as the Skyphos, which holds and ties us to people so long ago and teaches the lessons of the past.